should have spent the night last night. It was a fight. Welcome back to another episode of the Unified Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. I'm your co-host, Lonnie. Lonnie. What's up? I think we have a good one today. That's going to be mid as fuck. You think so? Mid. Mid. We have, you know, one of our partners in crime. Mm. Even if that's, you know, business-wise or even friends-wise. Mm. Mm-hmm. We seen this nigga do this. Mm. Slutty as shit. Mm. Slutty as shit. Also, we've been in the studio with him at the same time. Mm. Well, who? Facts. Her favorite artist. Who? Her favorite artist. Oh, hers. Yeah, her. her. Oh, yo, shit. Ness Julius. Welcome. Welcome. Can we can we get a can we get some round of applause? Can we get some round of applause? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been waiting on this moment. Like Nicki Minaj says. Okay. All right. Why Nicki? All right. <laughs> yeah. We're like, <laughs> I'm a bard and I'm playing. How you doing today, my brother? I'm chilling, bro. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready to talk that shit. How was your day today? How, you know, how, how, they're, you know? Day was cool. Day was solid. Cool. I'm like recovering from being sick. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's do it. I think you got me sick. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's you no, I'm just saying, cause like, I'm sick now and you. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. sick with it. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. But, you know, let's get, let's get, let's get right to it. You know, um, you know, born and raised a big show, right? I'm um, born in Houston, Texas, raised in Bakersfield. H Town? H Town. So, did you ever get to experience Houston or did you just moved here quickly? Not at all. I oh. moved here when I was two years old. So, you, technically, you're not even from Houston. Not. I'm I'm pretty much born and raised in Bakersfield. Okay. So, born and raised in Bakersfield, you know, how, from for you know, for you, how was it, you know, growing up here? Honestly, it was cool. It was cool. cool. It was cool. I um, I got to just grow up here. Bad air quality, but good friend. So, you never got Valley Fever or nothing like that? No, I got asthma. Same shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, everybody, if you're from the 661, you either got asthma or you got influence. One of the two. Yeah, you got something. That shit. You got something. You got something. You got something. You got something. <laughs> what shit. you got? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, like your childhood and everything, like growing up here, you know, how was it for you? And then, like, when did music start playing like a factor for you, you know? Honestly, bro, as a. As a fucking three year old, my dad would play soca and dance hall and I would just fucking So you was in dance before everything? Nah, honestly, like what it was, what it was it was just music that okay. just you know, I just fell in love with. I fell in love with dance hall and then at night when it was time for me to go to sleep, my mom would play country music. Mm-hmm. So that's when I like really found love for singing. Yeah. And melodies and shit. Mm-hmm. So I heard like, you know, like beginning of this stuff, he was actually a rapper. I was. I was. <laughs> so like when did that transition like to R&B? Well, I could always say it was just a matter of um, knowing what I wanted to sound like. So at first you wanted to be a rapper? Yeah. Okay. At first I wanted to be a, I wanted to be a rapper, get my bars off, but then um, that transitioned into me just, you know, falling in love with the ladies and being a ladies man, being her favorite artist. So. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, I ain't never seen even a lady. Oh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> my bad. You got it. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. But not like, so like, at what age, you know, did you actually was like, you know what? You said three, but like, at what age did you know, you take this down? I wanted to be like an artist. Did like, you was like, you know what? And you told your parents too, like, you was like, you know what? Yeah. You know? I think when I was 15, my, um, my freshman year of high school, I told my dad that I wanted to make music. And, you know, my parents always been really supportive. Um, and then they bought me a fucking Apple desktop computer. Then I got out Logic. I jailbroke Logic and I, Learned how to record a little bit when I was, you know, on my rapping shit. So at the time, were you just basically like doing the shit on yourself, just yeah. like low key type shit? I go lie, bro. Um, <laughs> it, this shit kind of kind of like goofy as fuck. But back in the day, me and my cousin, we we downloaded Audacity. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, can you elaborate on that? It's like uh, basically it's no EQ, no nothing. You just record yo your vocals and that's it over a beat and that's it. Mind you, at the time. I didn't know that when you transition a uh, MP3 file uh-huh. and you upload it to the computer, it just randomly start playing. I thought that was uploaded to iTunes, like for the world to see. Oh, oh, fuck. oh my <laughs> God. So on the media player, me and my cousin, we thought we was really on. We thought we was all. So y'all thought y'all was uploading music. We thought we was uploading music, but little did we know it was just the media player. <laughs> <laughs> so I made so much music that I thought was out, but it was just on that media player. And I, I would leave his computer and be like, why the uh-huh. fuck ain't this shit playing on other platforms? And it's because it was just on his media player. Now, do you still have some of those songs? Damn, you know what's crazy? I know. At all. Not, not one? Not. 
actually, if he still got that computer, it might still be on there. So that's crazy. But yeah, and early on, like, I had the craziest fucking name. Like, I wasn't even, I wasn't even Ness at the time. I didn't even go by Ness. What'd you go by? I did. Original. Nah, it was. Nah, y'all go. Hey, y'all gonna call me for this one, but hey, believe it or not. Cause my real name is my real name is Reginald, but I went by Reggie, and like at the time, my rap name was Young Reggie Three Eight Four. Like I thought, I thought, where, where was it? I need Three Eight Four from nothing. <laughs> it was just you know, like when you automate a password, yeah. If you random number, yeah. I just took Three Eight Four. I was like, hey, that's your R. So I Young know, Reggie Three Eight Four. Young Reggie Three Eight, and uh, I thought I was. Oh, okay, that's that's smooth. Okay. No, like back in the day, that's smooth, bro. Y U N G. <laughs> like. No, never mind. Young. <laughs> I thought I was Young shit. Spinner. Oh, shit. Like, why yeah. you NG like, him. like that? Yeah. Wow. Like him. Y'all both Thank on God the same shit. Thank God y'all changed your names. Oh, God, both of yeah. them. I ain't gonna lie. It took me and my, uh, shout out my nigga Hero. It took me and this nigga Hero in fifth grade. We made a fucking duo. We called ourselves Business. Mm. He was the biz and I was Ness. Oh. And then that, Ness, <laughs> Ness just stuck. I mean, it sound ridiculous. It sound crazy. I go. I, That's a wild shit right there. It sound wild. Like he the biz, but I'm the. <laughs> hey, what? We had we had Miller Elementary popping. Shout out Miller. Hey, if y'all watching this right now, let me do a pop up. <laughs> Did he come through? Former alumni. Oh, well, let's make out. We can we can make something happen for that. They're gonna put a restraining order. <laughs> Imagine. Damn. That's but yeah. That's that's how Ness really came about. And then uh, later on, I transitioned into me. Wanting to make it true to myself. Yeah. So I just used my middle name, which is Julius. Uh -huh. Nash Julius. And what really inspired that name was Kendrick Lamar. He took his middle name and his last name and, then, and you know, formed it. Uh, I, well, I think that's both his middle names. Got it. I just wanted it to be true to myself. So. I mean, honestly, Nash Julius, that's, I feel like that's a good ass name. Yeah, looking back on it. And it kind of seems like it's like a, your actual name, too. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel like Ness Julius just goes together type shit. Yeah, like I, I feel like with, with where I'm at now, I don't gotta fake the fuck. Like I am who I am. Yeah. Fake so you son. <laughs> fake the fuck. You got a different language on you. <laughs> Probably. So you say you started, you know, taking shit serious at 15. Yep. Okay. And you and your cousin. But like, when was it when you actually realized, I'm talking about like the R&B side. Like, okay. When was it like, you know, like, you know, actually, this this shit it like so I think maybe around 2019, mm -hmm. um I got placed on a Amazon Prime music show, okay. um, not a music show my bad it was a um it was a series, mm -hmm. and my music just happened to get you know placed on the show yeah that's when I realized like do you still remember the song yeah it was um it was three songs of mine it was Andy oh, Shaw Keep the Faith and Unbothered all three of them got placed on that show. know any of them damn. Just kidding, my bad. Go ahead. A lot of I ain't gonna lie. A lot of a lot of my fans now probably don't know that side of me because like a lot of the you been fans, music. yeah, a lot of the fans are gravitating towards the new shit. Yeah, like they probably only know like twenty twenty one and up. Yeah. So and I mean, I even told you this too. I was like, bro, once people start knowing who you are, they will start playing that old shit, and then they will realize that old shit was still fire too. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't know about the rapping, but like actually, you know the. Like the new, the new shit. And no, the, yeah, he just ain't don't rap. That's what he does. I didn't say that, bro. I didn't say that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The rap shit go, it's like it's cool, but like the singer shit really go great. Do you have an, an alter ego? I do. I do have an alter. ego. What's your alter ego? A uh, rap alter ego is Tony Soprano. You don't know who that is, do you? I do not. I never met that nigga before. You know the hey, the the, the, Sopranos? the world don't know that side of me yet, but it's. I mean, it may. So, or may not. I have a question. You feel like you know. You know, you would ever make like a, a rap album again, or you you want to take it to a point to where it's like you know I'm strictly making R and B type music type shit, or do you see yourself making? Honestly, bro, um, I would love to do a rap album, but at this point, I'm kind of more just focused on growing my fan base, and I know my fan base want to hear the R and B shit. So. Yeah. I'm gonna keep feeding them that until I feel like it's time to introduce that side of me to the world. Exactly. I saw somebody called you a 25 Savage the other day. <laughs> 25 that, Savage. I actually go crazy. 25 Savage? 25 Savage is fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> 21. She ain't do snow. Whoa. <laughs> um, so, where did her favorite artist come from? So, her favorite artist came from my homie. 
that was out in LA. So it came from a guy that came from one of my closest friends. He was hanging out with two females. Uh -huh. And first time linking with them ever. Uh -huh. Mind you, I don't even know these girls. Like they, I think they from Sherman Oaks. Shout out them. I don't know who you is, but anyway. Hope you're watching this one though. He put on, I think he put on Fantasy and like, Apparently they were fans of POV. Like they already knew. And when when was this? Like what year? This was last year. Last oh, for real? Okay. That was what inspired me to make the song her favorite artist. Ooh. And the actual album title, if y'all don't know, came from you, nigga. Cause you was the one that told me to name this shit her favorite artist. I mean, cause I feel like that's what you went by. You feel me? Like yeah, you no. Know? Wait, is he getting credits for the album since he did basically came up there all I mean, you are too. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> Yeah, but so that's how her favorite artist came about. Yeah, hey, it really, it really came from from that conversation, and then that, and that literally led me to writing the song her favorite artist. Souls for her. Yeah, it's for her. <laughs> who was it? I don't know. <laughs> and but if you out there, does she know? Probably not. Okay. So just like you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's one of them ones. It's one of them ones. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I have a lot of them. Like I'm. So I'm. I'm I have a question before we get to this. We about to before we get to the next game, right? Okay. Um, do you make a lot of songs about girls I on do. the first link type I shit? Do. I do. You uh, oh wow, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I think I made, I made one of the nuttiest songs after the. I made one of the craziest fucking songs after this this link up with this shorty. Like, <laughs> what do you mean by nuttiest stuff? Yeah, like, you... wild. When I say nutty, I mean wild. Oh, okay, okay. Like yeah. wild as fuck. Like. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Like I met, I linked up with Shorty. Shorty was cool. Like what's her name? I ain't gonna say her name. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. My bad. You know what? Shorty was cool. And Shorty was talking that shit, but because of my situation at the time, we didn't, we didn't we didn't get we didn't get too deep into into shit. But just know that on this next album, when that shy come on, it's dedicated to you. Like okay. you gonna say her name? No, you. I ain't gonna say her name. Talk to her. Talk to her. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, nah. You gonna send it, you gonna do something. I don't know, you gonna find your way back in that. Yeah, I mean, but that's my, that's one of my biggest vices. I feel like I, I'm the type to make everybody feel like they the one. Yeah. You, my the fuck. <laughs> but we about to get in the world. It's, it's, it's your world, it's your fantasy at the end of the day. Yeah. So. Yep. But we about to get in this first game. It's called Clean the Fifth. I'm do. Okay. So basically, I need you to answer these questions truthfully. Okay. Okay. If you do, we take a shot. Say look. Now, if you cannot answer it, or, I mean, I don't know if you're lying or not, but, you know, I hope you're not, then you got to take a shot. All right, no cap. Okay? Let's do it. So we will get right to it. Let's do it. Number one, have you ever used your status as an artist to pick up women? Honestly, I feel like I don't take advantage of that. Mm, that's not the question, though. That kind of question, no. Well, he don't? Mm, Cause I remember. What, so you don't be you don't be so way I So how about this? How about this? What if we catch him in a lie? Cause we know him, right? Exactly. That that's not really fair though. Cause I'll, but I'll, exactly, you're lying though. You're supposed to be truthful about it. Wait. So I I think I have like an example. Me too. Right. Me too. No. Let's, let's, so <laughs> you want to go with no still? Final answer. <sighs> nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah, I have. You have. Gosh. I'm gonna. So I mean, I guess we put ourselves in a situation. <laughs> I say you just think, well, just because you honestly, no, you know what? Because I wasn't truthful at first, I'll say you. Yeah, you take the first one because you know that was some bullshit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this. Oh. Okay. Number two. Who's your favorite ex? And you have to say a name. If not, you know, you can like, do one of my favorite exes. Probably um, my most recent ex, Nailani. Why is it your favorite? I go like, we had good memories. Like, we, we went to hella concerts. We went to, we took hella trips. But <laughs> at the end of the day, shit didn't pan out. But, I mean, it's good. It's, it is what it is. Y'all still friends? I mean, we still pull We still pull All right. So, I mean, that, that's one of each, my boy. Literally in different no more. Damn. They spunked that. Oh, so I ain't gonna even lie. I didn't even know this was added. That was like a cap. 
I'm gonna spike that bitch. <laughs> At her, all that shit. What's <laughs> for shit? You all for that? You it's, for that. it's four A's of that bitch, nigga. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Number three, number three. Hold on. Oh, number three, number three. <laughs> Would you leave undefined tomorrow if a major, you know, record label came to you with that check? Absolutely. No. Get the fuck out. I'm not I'm like I'm signed to a 360. No, I'm Ask the question again. Would you leave undefined tomorrow if a major, you know, record label came to you with the right check, like the right numbers, everything? You know how the record label nowadays, you know, but if they came to you, like, you, I ain't gonna lie, I've already had a few. If they came to you and they said, hey, here's this, this what it is, and it's perfect for you, you taking that. I mean, me and my manager definitely already talked about it, but no, no. Because at the end of the day, Undefined gives me creative freedom, and that's more important than- But I just said the perfect, oh. I said the perfect deal to you. No, what he's saying too is you get creative freedom as well. The, the, I'm talking about the perfect deal. Do whatever the fuck you want, but you still- And, you, and, and you're a millionaire. Honestly, no. Because it's all about ownership at the end of the day. Because you lying of a mother. At the end of the day. Honestly, I believe it. I believe it. I believe keep it. Keep it real. If I, was, I know, but I do. If I was to sign that deal, let's be real. Because a lot of a lot of y'all motherfuckers in this shit right now, y'all stuck. <laughs> uh, keep it real. Why would I sign a deal and y'all taking sixty percent of my music when I'm keeping a much higher percentage of that now as an independent artist? Because we're an independent label. Uh huh. And we're independently funded. We got this shit from the mud. So why would I sign with you if you take eighty percent of my shit? So my thing is, I'm thinking. I mean, no. Before you talk, I'm not, before you say, before you say, freedom. I understand that. So, but what I'm saying is, is like a whole goal as an artist, right? What is like your motive? Like, do you want to not technically be signed? Because every a lot of artists, big name artists, are independent as well. Okay, so it's not just about you got to be signed. Yeah. You can be independent too. But is it just more of a like, you kind of seen it already through other artists? Like, oh, if I sign with these people, then... Or you already know how the game goes, basically? Are you, are you like too loyal at the same time? And is it that? Well, honestly, keep it real. My biggest thing is I've seen too many artists get shelled. Too many talents. Oh, so, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Because I've seen nowadays, like even through social media, a lot of artists are talking about it nowadays. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm in the, for example, Meek Mill talking about he's in this 360 deal. He only made a million dollars since his first. Like, <laughs> no, I feel like it's, it's realistic though. Not a million. It was like he only made like a million off one song, which the song made way more than that. Hey, but y'all seen the the, uh, the going mad numbers? Like, going mad made some shit. But I'm saying that's I think that's the song he's talking about. He only made one million off that song, but which is crazy. From the numbers, he should have been way. More than that, probably. Yeah. Is that why most artists nowadays are scared to sign to? Honestly, bro, I think it's backwards. I think, I think a lot of artists don't do their homework, and a lot of them see the numbers, like they see the million. They seen that first. They see that fucking signing bonus. Yeah, like I gotta do this. Being that way, I didn't have a million yesterday, which is true. Yeah, but you're not thinking about longevity. Uh huh. Because let's be real, if you, what? you're not thinking about longevity, bro. Yeah. Because if you sign now, you get a million now. How you gonna spread that bitch out? Like you go exactly that a million might have to last you for that whole fucking. That's what I'm saying, and then like most most new artists that sign, they blow their budget on features, studio time, this and that, clothes, clothes jewelry, yep. cars. You, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. shit that don't really shit that like is outside of what you was already building. Yeah, yeah, we can't trust you with cars, so no, bro. It's so. the bigger picture. Like, I, no, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. It's like all I'm all yeah. I'm worried about is fucking. All we need was the yes or no shit. Yeah, that's it. Y'all take that shot though. That's it. Y'all take that motherfucking shot though, because that was definitely not a no. So I was just about to be male. 
I just had like a little like a flashback of like watching those clips of him being like bow when he just found a dream liner is um, yeah, yeah. Like, he thought a human but <laughs> he read it and seen it. Damn, y'all y'all all for sure right now. Y'all should like Westbrook. West Brick. First of all, number four. Uh, number four. Okay. Number four. My brick. Top and bottom or middle? What? Top, bottom, or middle? Number four. That's a top because the head always knows stupid. I'm not talking about one more word. Okay, first of all, that wasn't even a question. It was top or bottom. I had I think you said, hey, I had to have I ain't gonna lie. Off the, <laughs> off the dark liquor, I'm a. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, you do a middle? Okay, no, that's not our fucking question. Are you a top or a bottom? Or or middle. Okay, I don't know what middle means. I'm definitely a top. Yeah, top gun like you like missionary at the most of type of nigga? Of course. Uh, I like to look at him. I like to look at his eyes when I'm putting over the mic. I like to look at him. I like to look at you when I'm snatching your so, so you neither been? I'm a top. He's a top. What's a what's a middle? A middle? Fuck is a middle, yeah. Like a sandwich? Oh. Basically, yeah. You sandwich, nigga? It's like you and another person? Two other people. You wild as fuck. What the fuck you think a middle is? Nigga, you can't be a middle on the outside if you're middle. <laughs> if it's two bitches, nigga, you don't want to be a middle in between that? And not want to be on top. But but then I would be the middle. Oh. If, and you want to be a middle if what? If what? What can she do it? Like. <laughs> she got to do it. Listen, she got to strap on. My oh, you're the middle, nigga. Like, think about it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Is that Steve? <laughs> Damn, fuck with that jacket, though. Fuck with Jesse. What? Josh Slager. Huh? Oh, yeah. Them niggas all some... And then the finest host in Bakersfield. Finest. Top quality. I think we are. Best question. I think like, we are. Bro, literally, who else is out here putting out quality content? Got quality artists. And we got good-ass hosts, like... Nothing but under five records. I'm the fun drive with a dope vision. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. What's the worst song off your recent album? The worst song on my album, honestly, I would have to say is. And you don't have to have a, like an answer. Like you can say all of them are good. Honestly, it's probably, uh, probably Birch and Athens. Still? Now, why is it that? The only reason why I say it's Brush in the Hamptons is because the worst song on your whole entire 12 project. But now. that's just showing you how good the music is. Uh huh. That's just showing you how good the. But why is it the worst? I think it's the worst because it's the one that I come back to the least. In your own eyes? In my eyes, that's the worst for me. But for other people, they probably love that song. But for me personally, I would say it's Brush in the Hamptons. Personally, for me, it was TFC. TLC. TLC. Why, why, I don't know. I felt like why was it? It wasn't like be matching the whole thing. Yeah, I fuck with Resident Evil, but honestly, when I heard Heartbreaks Interlude, crazy. No, can I can I miss my shit then? If you, if you miss my go ahead, go ahead. Can't call us the worst to me. Really? Why did Why did you? Uh, not, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know what about that song. Is this is which one? Can't can't call it. That one's hard. Something. I feel like just honestly. Okay, we're in the middle of the game, but I just feel like some people have a different ear for different shit. Yeah. And of course, everybody's different because, like, I, I feel like niggas listen to fucking country. I don't listen to country. I don't think so. I, I feel like can't call it probably my most ratchet song that I've made thus far. Thus far. Are you serious? I feel like I don't make I don't make it I don't make music for that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you make some ratchet ass music. Before. Really? Like some Nest Jewel. But like, I feel like this album though, like you did a little different, uh, different. You you did a little bit of everything, and you did a little bit like, of everything. Like when you had that little Spanish life in it too, you had a little different something like yeah. That that's what I was trying to go for. I was trying to like really show people that I can do this on all levels. Like, yeah. Re- like, but Brent's and the Happiness for Rose, your least favorite song? Probably. It's just the one that I come back to the least. Like, I felt it like because it's an intro and you recorded it like, cause for example, like when I'm playing your album, right? Yeah. That shit always pops up just because it's the intro, like you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So is it is it that is is that why, or you just, you just heard it too much? Honestly, for me, bro, I feel like when I first record a song, I listen to the fuck out of it. Like I let, probably listen to it like 10, 12 times after I leave the studio. Uh-huh. So I play the songs out for myself. Uh-huh. Brudge and the Hamptons is one of the ones that I fell in love very early. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And as the album came out. I started seeing what people were gravitating towards, so I started tapping in. Yeah. And then I was I'm just like, you know what? This this probably my least favorite. But yeah. 
but it's doing it's doing really good like numbers wise it's doing the album did great like i i can't i can't knock what the album is yeah. doing and what my fans are doing but at the end of the day that's, that's probably my least favorite. yeah i mean I, I feel the same way when i leave a studio and after i record a song i listen about like five times that i know yeah, we, i know it's not we it gonna, we gonna lock in soon you make music but that's what i'm trying to say though that's what i'm trying to say yeah, after the fourth listen i'm i'm like oh well, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm tripping 22 questions that's us awesome. <laughs> Had nigga said twenty two questions, and then all do make sense. Shout out my nigga Noble for that one. Mm-hmm. Cap, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out my nigga Noble for real, cause he saw the vision before. Like, he saw the vision before I even transitioned into the artist that I am now. But we we'll, we'll get into that later in the episode. I just wanted to give him his love real quick. Mm-hmm. I feel like shout out Noble, shout out Noble real quick though before we get into anything else. Shout out Noble because. Noble is one of the very few artists out here putting out quality qu- quality content. Quantit? Quantit. <laughs> Quantity and content. Outside of music, he's putting out high quality TikToks, putting out high quality reels. Regardless of how you feel about anything, you gotta take a look at what he's doing and then take a look at other artists around the city. Good caster, but he's the way. We see what uh, back home me be. Honestly, I, I fuck with it. My favorite, my favorite song personally that Noble has ever made is fucking um. Sis, is the is uh falling into the world's view. World's view. That's my favorite song. He's a cute but she don't even know what that is. Hey, since we're on this topic though, isn't he an asshole though? I've seen him like, bro. <laughs> Noble, one of my close friends. Same. But he's an asshole, bro. He is. And But he does he is sweet asshole. No, he is not. He's a sweet asshole. What do you mean by sweet asshole? <laughs> just ask that. What? That one yeah. I mean that should be looking right, huh? No. Yeah, you went too far on that one. What I mean by sweet sweet asshole is I mean like he an asshole, but at the end of the day, he he's like there's there's true reasoning behind why he is the way he is. There's no not true. By the day, he's still an asshole though. Like it's, it's not because he's trying to be, it's because he is an asshole. You know, you know what I mean? There's, there's a difference between between you know trying to be an asshole. Like I'm a, I'm a, as a person, because compared to as an artist, I'm not gonna lie though. He handles his shit. He does. Because well, I'm, I'm gonna say this. He's a great businessman. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. As a friend, he's a wonderful friend, and manager, everything. But when it comes to like. Talking to people, he's a straight asshole. He is. He's very. And I, and I be trying to tell, I be trying to tell him, I'm like, bro, chill. He's like, dog, they got me most of like type shit. I'm like, bro, hey, chill. if they got me fucked up was a person, it would be him. Yeah, yeah. And I never, honestly, I've never seen that side of him until really? you know, you, you had you until we had your first until you had your show about you, you know, your your album in the beginning, which was great, the, by the way. It, it was. It, it was a wonderful turn. It was honestly, it was honestly. There's a lot of people in. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That that might have been one of the one of the very. Cause like, mind you, when I make music, I'm locked into what I got going up. That might have been one of the very few events that I really realized we really got this shit popping. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to let you know, like, your manager is an asshole. Oh yeah, but that's why he my manager. Remember the time he got slapped with the club? Why are you bringing this up right now? Like he got literally slapped, like. Okay. You don't know that? Yeah, I saw like a female. My, no, that's number six. Remember, it was through Hazard there. Number six. Right, you know, number six. Uh, number six. Body count. Seven. Seven. Oh. Huh? Seven. I heard something different. Different? Uh-huh. By your ex. And so, 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 I'm trying to get the record straight. What is your body count? Seven. And you're going with that. That's what I'm going with. I think you're lying. Cool. How would I lie? Cause so seven. Are you lying or are you telling the truth? Be be Why truth. Be truth. Be truth. Be very truthful with us. Your hand is on the Bible right now. Yo, the Bible. Your hand is on the Bible right now. Seven is your body count. Seven. Post a shot on Mama's. <laughs> On Mala's. I'll say on Mala's is different. All right, all right, all right. Re-ask the question. Re-ask the question. What is your body count on Mama's? All right, go ahead. That's a fucking question. What is your body count 
on my list. It's five. What? Why? Why did you lie about two people? <laughs> So, you know, you take a shot. Just can you can you take a shot? Cause I know you lied now, bro. It's fine. Just let y'all know. Name her favorite artist is a liar. Uh, oh, he said name him. Uh, <laughs> I said I didn't drink it. <laughs> so no, for real. What what is are you, is it? Play the fifth. You gonna play the fifth on that one? No, nah, I'm gonna I'm keep it real. I'm gonna just drink. Okay. Deal thing twenty one. Okay. I did it. Number seven, what's the worst verse you've ever received and who was it by? And I, what I mean by that is like, I already know the proper answer is like, oh, I've never had one. I go, what? The but, worst, no, nah, I got an answer for this. The worst verse I ever received in my life was Polari. Polari? Polari. Who is Polari? If people Bro, know who Polari is. If, people, if you don't know, like, Polari was this nigga coming up from Atlanta. He was popping at the time. Mm -hmm. I paid twelve hundred dollars for this feature. Got a boof ass verse back. Did you put the song out? I did put the song oh. out, and I made the beat. Ooh, yeah, garbage. What are you talking about, the beat or those verse? Everything. Okay. Looking back at it, <laughs> I really wasted money. Like I don't wasted money. Twelve hundred. I waste some money into everything, like just like paying, even paying for the feature. Like I feel like it was a waste. Your record label didn't pay for it. Nah, damn. Were you signed at the time? Nah, oh. I was independent. Fit. Yeah, Maybe. but I mean, you live and you learn. Yeah, definitely the worst, worst first ever. At the at that moment though, you, what'd you expect? I Were you expecting that shit to like? I ain't gonna lie, I was fucking really young at the time. I thought maybe after I got this feature, I was really going pop, pop. <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that was a move. I thought yeah. it was gonna pop. Yeah. Worst mistake of my life. Okay. He answered it. Mad investment, so. We gotta take a shot. Might as well report. They thought you were gonna bug with you? I'm gonna put Trump. Yeah. Save it for the week. I bet you your radio report. I said I already poured mine. You want more? No, I don't. Why? I don't. Why? But come on. Come on. Drink that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> he said, aw. <laughs> aw. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. That one. Yeah, y'all chest feel warm, don't you? <sighs> no, not at all. <laughs> okay. Last the final question. Have you ever chosen canes over a woman before? Great of you asking to do it. And any explanation about that. But while you're doing that, I'm a, I'm a, you know. Answer, uh, with that, just, <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> I plead a fifth, bro. We'll go ahead and take your shot. I plead a fifth. But hey, can be indifferent. Can't be indifferent, that's all I'm gonna say. Who should be hitting back? <laughs> Damn, where is this fucking photo at? <laughs> Give me a minute, y'all. Hold up. I'm gonna I'm find, I'm gonna find a picture for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna find a picture for y'all. Hold up. Just give me one second. Please and then, a lot of pressure for the limit. And then ta da, it's gonna be there. And one, two, three. If y'all can zoom in to that. <laughs> if y'all can zoom in to that. Hey, Amen. Okay. Yo, it's me. <laughs> no, it's good. It's okay. <laughs> the only niggas is crazy. Wild. What is a Slytherin? Bab. <laughs> You got a different vocabulary than most people. Yeah. I got a different mocha. Yeah. You're making up shit. I do, but that should be sticking. But like a Slytherin, like what is a Slytherin? Slytherin is somebody that's always down the slide for sure. How did you get that name? How did I get the name Slytherin? You know, like how did you come up with that shit? Like Slytherin? Honestly, it's just some smooth slick shit. I came up with in the studio. Okay. And basically just a female that's down the slide. It's just somebody that's down the slide. The people that don't know what that means, what does that mean? He's saying like like a slithering, like a, like a snake. She's a snake kind of person. She down the slide, like she she needs here. She down for whatever. Oh, she down for whatever. I wish I had one of them. You got multiple, or you got one, or how's your situation looking like? <laughs> it's a couple. It's a couple. It's a couple. You know what's crazy? That <laughs> crazy, <laughs> crazy. Because you brought that up, right? You you got multiple, right? 
Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I y'all trying to get me set up? No, no, I'm not trying to get you set up at all. But I just remember this one time. Um, it was actually my birthday. Yeah. It was actually my birthday, and uh, we popped out to LA. You was with me, actually. That's crazy, right? Crazy. As well. Yeah, it's crazy, right? So, yeah. <laughs> crazy as hell. Yeah, but yeah. So you we was in LA, and what I can remember, you can tell me if I'm wrong or not. And what I kind of remember is like you seen three bitches in the club uh, type shit, right? And you was with three of your home, you know, your, your homies, right? And you bought these girl a shot, right? So far, I'm going. I'm, so far, it's good, right? Okay, it's pretty. Bought these, you bought these girl a shot, and you're not saying not one word to these females. Can you tell me what was going through your head at that moment? To me, like I'm gonna buy three girls a shot, but I'm not gonna even say like nothing to them. You didn't even introduce yourself. What's crazy too is we saw them almost all night long. So they were invisible all night long. And you and you bought them three shots without saying nothing. I got us buck of ribs. Huh? I got us buck of ribs. No, you got dead ribs. That's what that is. What does that mean? They ain't got no ribs. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Hey, what was that one thing you sent me? Uh, uh, Adolf Rizzler? <laughs> Adolf Rizzler. Basically, what I'm saying is, basically, what I'm saying is, <laughs> you ran into three females that you found gorgeous, right? And beautiful, right? And beautiful as men, right? It was cool. You bought them a shot. It was made for sure. Well, they was, they was good, bro. They were, you know, and you bought them a shot and you didn't do nothing. You didn't even introduce yourself. It was made. So why buy them a shot? It's her fantasy. I hate you. I hate you. Can you go on some? I'm not like I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Me, cause me, I would never buy a female a shot for no reason. For no reason. You lead them on. Okay, you lead them on. We haven't seen them in months. That was your first time seeing them too. And how, how long that? Then the last. Cause it's day fantasy. I, I mean, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I kind of oh, get no, it. But I get it. you. You spark off that night. From but you're in a different city though. <laughs> I would get if you was in your city, like I would get that because like Exactly. But you in a different city, bro. But you said you were another dude. That's what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> you in a different city, my boy. And you talking about some spark the night. You sparking the night for a whole nother dude. At that point, nah, because what you don't get is you went to King. <laughs> nah, what you don't understand is you feeding them a fantasy. It's something that they longing for, but they they will never get. So you spent eight dollars on some bitches that on a fantasy that they like. I don't have to get it. <laughs> when is eight dollars? Oh, until you got money. What is it? So that is okay. Okay. Like I, I get it. 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 Guys, you're that you want it. What are you? Be quiet. I, I, I get it. I get it. I mean, I get it. Honestly, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, get it. I, get it. I, get it. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, I get it. Because let's keep it real. They probably had the best time of their life. They only had the best thing in their life, too. We've been with them by you. <laughs> hey, but it was probably some of my music. Ugh. They even they even hear fucking me. That's okay. Right. Yep. Yep. Alright. <laughs> hey, my LA was cool. Oh, well, I, that was a lie. You know, I was like, you gotta understand though. Ninety percent of what you put into these bitches, bro, is energy. And if you just like implementing your energy on a bitch, you're her favorite mood. Uh, I need you to just stop talking. No, honestly, that kind of like that was kind of that was kind of crazy. That was kind of so. So you're telling me, Mister Bitches. If <laughs> I want to pay it, if I, if I text a girl for like, you know, so long and so forth, if I stop talking to her, she gonna feel me more type shit? She gonna remember the conversations y'all had. Oh. Because you, you got a lot of conversations with her. <laughs> you got her in that lead. I, li- I, I like that answer, buddy. All I heard was, I hope you get to you a shot. <laughs> Bro, keep it real. It's a mind game. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Where you act like you didn't want them, you just said, fuck it, just be nice? Bro, because bitches come and go. Boom. Is that because you are Mr. Bitches that, like, you just have that mindset that, like, 
I'll find one, then I'll cut her off. I'm like, because you know. you are her favorite artist, so I'm, that's why I'm like, you know, like, I'm like, I might find one. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I might find a three. I feel it. I feel it. But going back, going back, you know, to the, the topic we were talking about earlier, um, I just had one question. Um, you had a big increase in your numbers lately, right? Yeah. Can you talk about that? Like, how that, you know, happened? Like, cause I feel like, you know, like, for some people, they still don't know who Ness Julius is, right? Because I, like, I talk to, you know, a lot of people locally, too, and they're like, bro, I, I don't, haven't heard of music, right? But your plays, your streams, and all that shit, you know, it's showing, like, progress from each year and each year, each year you know? So, like, yeah. for you, like, how does that feel? And then, you know, how does that happen? Honestly, like, I can't really pinpoint how that fucking happened, but shout out to people that's tapping in. Mm -hmm. Shout out to people that's still tapped in. Mm -hmm. But um, I, ultimately, that's just being consistent. I have a question, though. Like, for me, it's like, um, do you feel like this new project that you actually dropped, is that what led up to it, to where, like, people were listening to you before, but now more are listening to it because of what you dropped? Does that make sense? Definitely. Yeah. Um, people are listening because of what, what I've been dropping. Okay. No, I feel like, because I honestly, I feel like you have, you've been, I mean, you've always been consistent, but now you've been kind of like doing a little different things lately. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, because I don't know if you remember, like, uh, not that long ago, uh, the, the Jabberwockies, they uh, were, they were fun with your music too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was, like, I mean, you've been around for a bit now, whatever, but like, sure. now you've been doing like certain different things. Do you think that's what it is? Probably. I mean, I ain't going to lie. The past year and a half, my music has changed a lot, but I've really just been tapping into what people wanted you to are, are wanting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, but is this what you want as well? Like, what you want to make? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I feel like I'm not gonna lie, it's been fire. Appreciate it, bro. But oh, for real, no, like for real. Even the unreleased shit that's coming out that people don't people don't know, people don't know about. about. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like every now and then. Fans keep me motivated and just little messages from fans be mm -hmm. making me go harder in the stew and that's what's leading to all the great music. But how do you feel about like that increase in jump? Cause I, like from last year to this year, like yeah. people are start starting to tune in. They're not, they're not, everybody's not there yet, but at least, you know, they're starting to. And how do you feel about like, as an artist, how do you like, you know, like, you know what, like, damn, there's many people listening to me yeah. monthly. I'm getting plays. Yeah. How, does, how does that feel? I ain't gonna lie. It feels it feels different because I remember when it felt like to be like wanting that. Uh -huh. And now that that's there, it's like. Do you feel like you would need more now? Or do you feel like you're doing good to where like you could, you're satisfied or do you, you're just expecting more? As, to kind of, I'm gonna always want more. There is one more. And I feel like you deserve more. I mean, and, and, and honestly, in my, in my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and this is like not no like dick grind, no whole type shit. Not like, stop. But I'm just saying, just in general, bro. Yeah. And I even told you this already. Once, I feel like you already have put out that one hit. I already feel like you already have. But say you do put out that one hit, right? Mm -hmm. The whole world knows. Yeah. Once they go back to your old music, they're going to understand, damn, he's been doing this shit. Oh, yeah. It's not just this one hit. It's the whole catalog that's been doing that shit. For sure. And that's, that's what I'm looking at. Like, by the numbers... People are tapping in from like even the early, early shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's the most beautiful thing to me is like yeah. people you see numbers from like before now, like from like your your music that you made before. Like do you see numbers now compared to where they were before. Bro, one hundred percent. I'm gonna be honest. Like every song probably hit a ten to fifteen percent increase. In my whole catalog, and like throughout the year, no, like throughout everything that I ever put out, fifteen percent increase. Like that's. Yeah. Within the last three months, most artists probably not even doing that. Yeah. I'm not even like, hey, and I'm not even, I'm not even a cocky ass person. Yeah. But like, at this point, I'm just standing by the, by the numbers. Like, 15%. Mm -hmm. Now you deserve your flowers because you're really doing your shit. I appreciate it. And just like, uh, what was that pace that shouted you out the other day? Uh, uh, that Daily Slap. Yeah. Shout out y'all. They said, is Ness the most underrated R&B artists they said R&B artists right yeah they but I, I just feel like in general artists in town oh. and I feel like you are because to me and don't take this the wrong way or nothing like that I just feel like people are in tune into like some like uh, some hood shit nowadays like, yeah. 
They want on the laptop on the on they want that like I'm the best. I feel like everybody wants to hear that not hear it, but everyone wants to live that hoods lifestyle yeah. to like we're like, oh I, yeah. I ain't gonna lie off off top on the on the face of this shit. Like uh, I feel like you are to my, my, not not even I'm not even capping. I, you think the face of Bakerfield? Yeah. Yeah. Off top. On the face. On the face of it. I don't have to agree with you, honestly. I'm like it's lie. it's it's either me or it's either me or Joe. Like me and my nigga Joe Manor. Music wise and music with music and music talent wise, music and talent wise, yes, you guys are. Music and talent wise, yeah, we for sure. But like and no one's beating y'all. Off the top, I'm, you can say I'm the face of the shit. Like, because melodically, hey, this is no disrespect to nobody in my city, but I just feel like I'm really leading this shit. Like, I'm I'm doing shit artistically and creatively that nobody else is doing. Exactly. Um I'm writing shit for people and I'm writing, I'm, I'm giving people the sauce, but like nobody else is really recognizing where the sauce is originated from. Well, like, talk to shit. Talk to shit. Yeah. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a just keep it real. Like, I did numbers wise. Let's talk about it. I did 100,000 100, streams this year with no video. Mm-hmm. Y'all shooting videos every week mm-hmm. with so and so and so and so. And I'm putting up more monthly listeners. In mm-hmm. Like, I'm just, I'm just stating facts. No, as you should though. As you should though. Because like y'all, as you should. No, but like this is this is a real thing. Like people think just because I'm I just feel like people, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I just feel like people in here just like in baseball just hate. Oh yeah, facts. They don't like to give you your credit where your credit is due. But you know why that is? Because I don't make music for these niggas. I make music for the women. Oh, oh. And I'm gonna put that. So they not make. They, you're not making music for them. You're making I'm music not. for their girlfriend. I'm making like, music yeah. for the women and the the niggas. Then let me let me just like rephrase this. The men are catching on. They see what these women are tapped into, and they going back and they coming to the source. And that's why I feel like I'm the face of this shit mm-hmm. because eventually I'm gonna have y'all, y'all favorite eaters, y'all girlfriends, y'all side chick, whoever they is to you. I'm gonna have them tapped into the shit. You gonna have to be tapped into this shit. Eater. A eater is somebody who gives outstanding top. Are you talking about like the chopa topo? Uh, outstanding top. Like the, have you have you ever heard of a chopa top? Absolutely. What is a chopa top? A chopa yeah. top. Hey, for you, those of y'all that don't know at home, a chopa top is a female who is what I like to call a slithery, and she does a three sixty on that. Yeah. What is she doing that thing? For real, for real. Okay. Okay. She and her favorite mood doing that okay. thing. Okay. When you okay. Say top, I feel like you were just too sexual on that, but yeah. Too into detail. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, but I'm, I'm a, a, I'm a nasty nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Off the heady, I'm talking a little crazy. <laughs> but we lit, and we. Yeah, we, 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 but now, uh, you know, so far, you know, what's, you know, what's been the best moment that you're most proud of so far? You know, your, your artist career, like you know. Honestly, like the best moment like you've ever had. I ain't gonna cap. I love the fact that one of my songs, San Andreas, is doing what it's doing. Mm-hmm. Because that was, song, by the way, great song. I appreciate, by the way. That. I appreciate that. But San Andreas is one of the very few songs that I've ever wrote in a studio that I knew right when I cut it, it was gonna be one of the ones that did numbers. Because I had the vision. I had the vision for it. Too. No, this one obviously this was my favorite song. Is that I think on the same project it was uh Twisted. Twisted it's Twisted goes crazy, man. I think honestly, <clears throat> for me as a as a person, that's the song where I like I fell in love with your music. Yeah. Because you know I'm listen, you know, Twisted to get it to the death of the group by What? Hey, what people don't know, fun fact. Benny was actually supposed to be on Twisted. Benny Sullivan? Yeah. And who's he supposed to be? Well, who it's a Joe was on that one. So initially, I think um, Twisted came from um, a song that was cut from the Joe and Benny project. Oh. And at the time, Joe had leftover music that wasn't um, wasn't cut, that didn't make the project. Oh. And um, he was just sending me some unreleased shit. And I told him, I was like, hey, that would be fucking hard if I, you know, did a verse on it. Yeah. And, um... I just went to Nate's studio and I, you know, I just went in and I freestyled. I didn't even write it. I just freestyled. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, this this felt great. And then I heard it back and I sent it to Joe. And he was like, hey, bro, you got to put that on the album. But you got to put that on the deluxe. And I ended up just saving it for the deluxe. And 
you know, it, it did what it did. Yeah, I'll say that was, that was a great song. Great song. Great song. I've, I've been looking at the sometimes because I've, I've been listening to all your new shit lately, you know, everything you've been putting out recently. Mm-hmm. Then I go back to that randomly and I'm like, fuck. No, that's a great song, bro. You know, he be making he be No, making. he do. But do you do you know what you make when you're making it? Because the next thing you're about to get into is called Finish the Lyric. Okay. So, like, in that moment, do you actually know, like, do you freestyle most of your shit or you just, you know, or you write your shit? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Lately, I've been freestyling everything. Like, yeah. I've been one taking everything. So, I have a couple lyrics here, right? Let's do it. And basically, the game is if you get it right, yeah. you gotta take a shot. Like, I was trying to set me up. If you don't get it right, hey, when I'm off the dark liquor, I'll be talking crazy. Ooh. You need to stop. So, first one we have, right? Okay. <clears throat> I need you to finish this, okay. right? But I also need you to finish the song. I mean, like, same with the song, like, the song name. Okay, so if you don't say both, then you're wrong. Right? Gotcha, okay? Ready? I got to set you free, girl, because you found someone new. Damn. Shot. Shot. Mm-hmm. To finish that lyric, it was, I can't stand to watch him love you. What song is that? Drove you away. Damn. Damn, right? <laughs> hey, it's like that little way. I wrote that. Oh, God, I feel like a little way right. Hey, I don't know what that is, but that shit go great. Right? <laughs> you take a shot already? I took a shot. Bro, you took a baby ass shot. I took a baby ass shot. Y'all not going to get me fucked up. Okay, I feel it. I feel not it. yet. I feel it. I feel it. All right, number two. Let me look. Send me a location. Send me your way to you. That was the lyrics I found off Apple Music, by the way. I don't know if you're missing a word or something, but it says, send me your location. Tell me way to you. Damn, no. Nah. Girl, that's an easy call I will provide for you. Be your peace. Song name is Easy Call. Oh, but you're not singing it, though. Oh, well, I got to sing. You want me to sing it? If you sing all right. it, I would. I would all right, know. next, all the rest, I'll sing it to you. Right. <clears throat> but you take a shot, right? Yeah, I took a shot. <clears throat> Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> and you talk fire like Magic and Kareem. What did you just say? Don't worry about it. He 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 knew, though. Mm-hmm. That's POV. I know that. You got five, top five like Magic. Four, three, two, two. Nah. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 with the I, door lock, I'm... To like Magic and Kareem. That's what you said. What I say to him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm drunk. So right now uh, you, mm, it's a, it's a, you're not thinking no shots though. It's crazy because I know it, but the fact that it's not because mind you, my music is melody driven. So like, if you're not singing the melody, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get it because I ain't That's a rapper. Cool. I mean, I ain't no singer. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, I'll take the shot. Though. All right, all right you I'll see that. All right, Jose, you ready for the next one? Let's do it. I wasted time and effort, girl. It ain't that. How you don't know your fucking lyrics? I wasted time and effort, girl. It ain't that. It done. That's it. Now that I said, I don't even know. I wasted time and effort, girl. It ain't that. I put the shame on you. Play me, but play no fool. Oh, That's shit. Crazy. Let's play no fool. Is it? Chase. What is he, bitch? I'm not gonna lie. This is the first person we had on this shit that doesn't know shit. And you watch your own music? You have a ghostwriter? I go lie, I freestyle most of my hey, Take that whole thing. The whole thing? Whole thing. To the neck? Swallow that shit. I'm gonna watch you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> swallow that shit right now. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna swallow it. Mm, I mean. I'm not gonna lie, these might be most of the two zesty niggas I've been around because I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's crazy that I'm missing lyrics, cause like Yeah, no, nah, that's also I feel like okay, I feel like we went oh for like we went three for zero. Hey, no, y'all catch it up for sure. No, nah, but I feel like right now, if you don't get these next three lyrics, then I don't know what to tell you. You're right, but you ready? Uh who's it? These are more recent, so I, I'm we're on a three-second count here, okay? okay so you got three, two, one, two. I'll count, I'll count. Go and you can count, okay? Hair tie, hair tie back bit, fuck like a scoliosis. Black count, and it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, he, he didn't know it. No, no, he didn't know it. He didn't know it. He didn't know it. Oh, I sang the melody, though. He said, that don't count. Why didn't you finish the lyric? Word is that? Finish the lyric. Poor you. 
how you not get that one though? Like, come on now. That man, fucking Scalia. Come on. What's the next? He still don't know it? Hell. Blast off in it. Yeah. Gonna have to see chosen. <laughs> I'm on the mask there. She would call me cop. Single for the night, yeah. Man's don't treat her. It's hard. This bar, Home Alone, she Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. That's hard. But take bad, a shot. got to take a shot. Yeah, she got, you didn't. That's crazy, Buzz. Well, y'all, you didn't even finish it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just what it is. Hope, you ready for another one? Let's do it. Okay, this is the last one. Okay? Let's do it. I should believe in angles and red bottoms. And she won't even angles and ran bottom. She don't believe in problems and don't solve it. If she get caught up in the high, quit. What song is that? I used to bl- that's what's popping. Okay. We gotta take Hey, one. hey, quick story behind that. We gotta take one. We gotta take one. So I ain't gonna lie. Shout out DJ C P and shout out Arsenal. DJ Arsenal. Um, originally, bro, when I first made popping, when I when I first heard the beast, I did not think that song was gonna do what it was gonna do. Yeah. Me and Brandon, I went to Brandon's house. We was just listening to the beat. We was freestyling. I came up with the hook for Poppin'. And I told Brandon, it would be hard if you threw this on his album. Bro, that ended up being one of my favorite songs that I've ever made. Well, see, that song is crazy. Nah, Brandon went crazy. Both y'all did. Brandon top five. In the city? For sure. Period. For sure. Period. For sure. Me, me and him, me and Twin got a tape on the way. Like, so it's, it'll forever be. You and who? Me and Brandon. What's he call it? Twin. Is that your treacherous little Twin? <laughs> but, I, mean, I ain't gonna count, bro. Brandon and my light skin Twin. You know, light skin though, nigga. But if I was light skin, that would be my Twin. So he's not your Twin because you're not light skin. Nah, but if I was light skin, that'd be my Twin. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. No, nah, obviously, I've heard I'm some. Fair animal. I. Wait. I've heard you got a body. <laughs> hey, wait. Come back, come back, come back. I've heard some of y'all unreleased shit. And I'm about to lie. We go crazy. Bro, like it all is on some different level type of shit. Bro, me and me and that nigga Brandon, when we lock in. Bro. And I wish my nigga was here for this episode because you you when he was here. You kind of like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was here. You feel me? But no, regardless, bro, Brandon is top five to me. Musically, he's top five. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I agree with you. The only reason I agree with you because the, the latest shit he's been putting out, that Fire. nigga. I said PWL was the, the, the number one song of the summer. Hey, but they ain't even had the chance to hear our tape, though. And that's the crazy part. But even from from 2022, I still feel like PWL, bro. When that shit come on, it's a different set. Like it's, it's like, a vibe, bro. It's a vibe. It really is, bro. I I ain't even gonna cap. I love my nigga Joe Manor. I love Brandon Johnson. They top two to me, bro. I would literally put them in front of me, huh? Before I put myself, I I say we top three. We top three in the city for sure. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody fucking with, with Joe Man or Brandon Heavy. Let's say the order. Ready? You, Brandon, Joe. You, why do you, you say that? You feel me number one? Why do you, why do you, why do you say in that order? I fuck with your music more. And then Brandon, Brandon, I fuck with his. Is it, but is it because you know me? No, not, not even that. Okay, I know you're like, we, we hang out all the time, all this and that, but like, I, I fuck with your music so much more. Brandon, the thing is for him, he's like, he doesn't put out music like that like crazy. I feel like that's just a thing. And Joe, I feel like he puts too much music and he puts too much out to where he only has like only so like the so and so that that's gonna be popping. Mm, you know, right? I get it. I get but it. But you, you're more consistent, you know, artist wise. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, Brandon, I fuck with Brandon. Brandon's my dude. Brandon's my dude right there. I fuck with Brandon. That's my boy right there. You know, but hey, I ain't gonna lie. Our album about to go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. No, I've heard. I've heard at least four. I mean, you're so, here, the you're the agent. But like, I'm saying, but I, I, they don't know. But I'm saying, I heard at least four, and them motherfuckers is bro stupid, top tier, stupid. Bro, me and Brandon do not miss. We don't stupid. miss. Stupid. We don't miss. That's like that's a duo that you never know you needed. Oh God, that makes sense. Yeah, like, no, hundred percent. Like you heard, you hear it. It's like, yeah, wow. You, you didn't even know that you needed, it, but exactly. you did it the whole song. Exactly. And this leads to my my next question though, like. You know, what was your decision 
Like, you know, you could have been, you know, doing your own thing, right? Yeah. But, you know, what was your decision like starting to undefine? And then, you know, how was it, how's it been so far? So far, it's been, it's been pretty chill. Like, I got, I got creative freedom. Like, I do what I want. But at the end of the day, I know that I'm representing the brand. But, like, what was your decision, you know, like, going into that? Like, you know, like, you didn't have to do that. Yeah. You chose to do that, you know? And so, like, what was your whole mindset doing that? Like, for the people out there, you know, that want to know, like, why did you sign there? Or, like, why is so-and-so, why do you have a manager? It's like, so-and-so like that. So, like, what went through your mind to do that? Honestly, the reason why I got a manager is so I could focus on music. Uh-huh. And have my manager focus on the business side of things. Okay. So he could take care of the, the invoices, the DMs, the this and that, like, the day and then. So your album just dropped, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell, you know, the people at home, like, what's your favorite song off of the album? And, you know, how that whole song came out? My favorite song on the album is Should've Spend the Night. Okay. And the reason why that whole song came about is because I wanted people to really hear, like, I'd be talking that shit on my R&B side. Yeah. That's why I made Should've Spend the Night. So it wasn't about no specific person or nothing like that. It was just like you was all there to talk about shit. A specific person. So is all your songs about a specific person? Cause I feel, I don't know. I'm just asking the question because I feel like, you know, all my songs is about a specific person. So spend the night. Did a girl spend the night? Should have spent the night was about this. Oh, she should have spent the night. Oh, she shouldn't. And you haven't spent the night with her ever since? Like, or? No. It was about this bitch that I met in the town. Okay. Mm-hmm. But from the night, the one they got away. I got away. Hey, but she should have spent the night. She should have. If she spent the night, she would have had the time of her life. But what do you mean by the time of her life? Like, what was she the experience to have? You would have never forgot it. At all. Like, it would have been in the back of her mind at Home Depot. Was she, like, trying to file? She would have made a fucking trophy and she would have hung it up on her display. But it was she. That she should have spent the night. I feel you. that. I, I feel hate that. You talk. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel that. I feel it. I feel it. But, you know, going back to your album, it's just like, you know, you had 12 songs on it, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm pretty sure as an artist, you guys to make way more than 12 songs. Absolutely. So what's the, like... Like, how do you guys cut that down? How do you cut that down to 12 songs in particular? Process, yeah. basically. There's a process that you, you're like, oh, I got like 34 or 30, 50 songs, and you're like, boom, I got to minimize it to that. Honestly, it just comes down to the songs that you feel like you can really market. You can put money behind. Uh-huh. Because, like, you can have a great song, but you, you can have a great song and also not believe in it. Uh-huh. You got to put money behind it. Understandable. It's a business. That, but at the same time, for me, is like, you earlier were discussing the songs that you were least like the most. Mm-hmm. I mean, so you're going to put that into it as well. Why couldn't you have filled it in with another one? And then why did that not come into play? That's right. a fucking great ass question. Why are you going to lie? He spent it. Yeah, that's a great ass hey. question, bro. Lonnie spent it for real. But honestly, to answer your question, it's just, it all depends on the song you fall in love with. Okay, I see that. But at the same time, it's like, do you also see. Like a song later on that you didn't put into it, you're like, oh shit, this should have been on there, but it was a little already a little too late. Nah, because if you if you really see the vision through, you know that there's some shit that you can tuck for a later audience, and there's some shit you can put out now okay. for the people that sat there. Because there's a there's a, a few unreleased songs that you have made, mm-hmm. bef- that we know about. I mean, can we disclose those and whatever? But that we feel as ourselves should have been on the project okay right that could have filled in for certain spaces but you as yourself didn't feel like it was that song honestly uh, timing is everything with me so like if it if it's not the right time to put out the song then i'll, I'll tuck it away for me time. oh you a tucker that's <laughs> what i feel i feel it because i feel like honestly really split i feel <laughs> Hey, Lil hey, Lil Spoon go crazy. Lil Spoon go. Oh, I mean, that's that's the best. Honestly, the way I see it too is like, okay, yeah. Hey, if you if you were the best, that's a good color. Lil Spoon, crazy. So would you rather be with a good color, 
or a girl that gets choppa choppa? What if it's a both though? No, no, no. It's not one, one or the other. Yeah. Like no lie. That did top I, that top top go crazy. But for real. Go safe compared to the top. No, I ain't gonna lie. I need you to go three sixty. You crazy on the dick. So in in like you experience you you experience it uh, accordingly, right? Please go crazy. So like, how was that feeling to where like you're just sitting there, right, like this type shit, and she just did a whole three sixty. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I want to know what was, what was going through my head. Funny, like, I'm loving No, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey, all record. Y'all really want to know what was going through my head when that shit was happening? I go like, it was that tweet. And it was like, God, it was just that God made this nigga different. <laughs> That's how I felt. God made that nigga different. <laughs> Over the-, the whole time that shit was happening, I was like, hey. Why say, whoa, 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 hold on. I was like, hey, I'm different, nigga. You can't know it. Oh, about you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cause like you got re- you said it differently, bro. No, 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 no. You said God gotta make that like, nigga. Different. And the fact that that shit happened to me, like I was like, hey, I'm different. Okay. I'm a different okay. ass nigga for this. Mm-hmm. Cause like, how many niggas you know that could like proudly say that shit? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep from a buck from my. You want from what, nigga? Yeah. 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 Hey, if you ain't even top of top of. If you didn't give it 360 on a dick, it ain't really worth it. Yeah. Like, yeah. is you a slithering or is you just yeah. like out in these streets? Yeah. But do it a little yeah. shuffle on the back side. He enough of you. He enough of that. Because <laughs> you can be in the street. Hey, he enough of that nut shit though. Like, yeah, he, you know, I can go uh, here. I can go here. What's your reason? Oh, well, you know, you know what? How, how, how long did you last? Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If I ain't really into a bitch. No, that's not my question. It'll take me out. Well, like, top of top of how long did you last? Top of top of? I ain't gonna lie. I last like five minutes tops. Wait, she kept, wait, she kept doing it for five minutes? She kept, well, hold on, hold on. She kept doing the three things. Of course. Of course. Of course. What you think? Like, I thought it was just like a one time hey. circle and, hey. Her favorite artist is P.E. for real. This podcast. Hey. But this is what you're trying Hey. This is P.E. for real. If you ain't going for three minutes or less. Did you use these? It's not. It's not. It's not with it for this. Did you use these? If you ain't going for three minutes or less, it's not with it for this. Did you use these or not? The fuck I need to use that for? You know, going back, you know, to, you know, your album and everything, you know, what's a, um... Uh, what, what's a realistic feature that you want? And what's a dream feature that you want? Shit. And what I mean by that, like, what's a feature that you can just, like, that you hope you can get, like, today type shit? Like, you can you can get. And then also, what's your dream feature? Like, it can be from Jay-Z little way, like, what, you know? Something you know you can get for sure. And something you, you, you're, it's your, that you want to happen. But, you know, you, it can't happen. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean by can't? <laughs> It can happen. What about you? Like he blows up in a year, and I'm talking, right, he can't. I'm, I'm talking about as a, as a, as it stands right now. Look, you know what I mean? Like something you you know for sure you can, it can happen. Something you want so to happen man, eventually. We, um, <laughs> a, a dream, a dream collab of mine would be would be Blas. Is that is that is that realistic? Is that is that realistic? That's realistic, right? That's realistic. Yeah, I, I feel like that can happen. I know some people that side tour. Yeah, and now what's what's your what's your dream future? Like I need that. Like that's. <laughs> oh, we were talking about uh, this prior, and the way I said it was for my dream feature for you would be party next door. That would be crazy. It's crazy because one of his air house producers is one of my uh, good friends. Oh really? So how's that, that never happened or nothing? Like that. Oh, that's happened. It's happened. It's happened already. So you and party got a a, a track together? Nah. So it didn't, what? So it did happen. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Let me rephrase it. Yeah. His in house producer, me and him got attracted to him. So his oh, producer okay, and you. Okay, okay. okay. So you and Party don't have one for, it's just you and his. No, 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 no. I mean, eventually I would love for that to happen. But like, what's your what's your dream feature though? Like, like. Uh, my dream feature is probably uh, Drake. I hate Drake. I ain't ready to do it. I already fucking. <laughs> why, is it, why is it Drake? Why do you feel like you and Drake can collab on a record together? Is it because he's a, like he's him, or is it because like 
you feel like y'all can make a good song? Honestly, I feel like we just we could really make something great together. Okay, what kind of Drake though? There's Drake that is rapping or is singing. Arby, Arby Drake. I think me, me and Arby Drake would be under. Give me like a song though. Hey, or or Bryson Tiller. I'm not even ruling Bryson out. Like, give yeah, me a song by both to where you, to where you feel like you could have put a verse on it. Um, let me explain on Bryson Tiller's album. I feel like me and Bryson would have went crazy. And then and Drake. Me and Drake on Jaded would have went stupid. Cool. I ain't gonna lie. If, if I had a verse on Jaded, I wouldn't have went crazy. I kind of see that, though. I kind of yeah. see that. I kind of see that. Because, like, I'm going to just keep it real. I, hey, shout out Drake. I love what Drake does. Mm-hmm. But listen to that track that he had with Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. All love, right? Mm-hmm. Listen to Champagne Summer by Ness Julius. Mm-hmm. Listen to that bitch slow now. So you think he kind of like what? You, you tell me if that shit sounds similar. And he's staying cup in your phone. Huh? I ain't saying he cup in my phone. Drake! What did he what hey. say? Drake! Hey, Drake. Hey, this is no shade towards Drake because me and him will probably make, I ain't even going to say probably, we'll make great music. Honestly, the way we see it is honestly, we, that's what we hope for. Because right now, as an artist yourself, you are great, but just, it's just for like a baker show, local music, you know, whatever, you know, LA based, whatever, you're great. But I feel like there's so much potential that you could live up to. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, which we're, that's what we're hoping for, sure. for because we know you could do an album out right now. So if y'all, I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, I don't even like most local artists compare themselves to local artists. I don't, yeah. I compare myself to the greats because yeah. I know what I'm capable of. I know that right now is just a phase. I'm a lot that. Ask for it, just reach it. Yeah, set, reach it. Yeah, reach it. And, no, I, hope, I, I, and I hope after this album, people kind of like are tuned in. I will hope so too, because the album actually does go crazy. At the end of the day, I'm going to keep feeding y'all great music. Like, that's what I do. That, yep. I go in the studio and I try to outdo myself every time mm-hmm. because I hold myself to a high standard. That's I hold myself true. accountable because I know what I'm capable of. Yep. I know I'm capable of greatness every time. Yep. So it's like, why not feed y'all that? Yep. Step the level up, Esau. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take no steps back. Yep. So we got this album, but what can we expect more from you? You know, there's only like a couple more days until, you know, the year's over, right? Are you going to do anything else, you know, in between this year? Or like, um, that, what do you ex- expect me to go crazy on features? Because I will. Um, If y'all got hot shit and y'all got a great sound, I'll fuck with it. Okay. Like, I'm and now... Crazy. Where do you see yourself at the end of at the end of twenty twenty three? Say we I'm basically this is this is this this is this is the end of twenty two like twenty twenty two right now. Okay. At the end of twenty twenty three, where do you see yourself? I'm beating one of one of the best emerging artists that you've ever heard. And that's no cap. Like whether you tapped in now or you tapped in later, I'm gonna be one of the best emerging. So by the end of twenty twenty three. Period. If you if you for if you hear again by the end of twenty twenty three. You gonna be one of those, one of one of those ones. Nah, I'm not gonna be one of them ones. I'm gonna be the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not even. I'm not even all jokes aside. And this he be humble too. He's not. He, I, no, I, I, I hope. I hope people don't think like he's no, thinking no, no, like all, as he like he's talking his shit. I, I feel like he's being humble. I'm. I'm way. a very humble individual, but I'm gonna just be real. Like, I'm gonna be one of the biggest artists of the next year coming up and after that. Like I do have a question for you though. What do you see? How do you see the undefined team as right now, and how do you see them going at the end of next year? I definitely see everything going within its own platform: the podcast, the artists going crazy. I definitely see that. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like what I got going on is different from anything else that's. Even popping off right now, and I feel like I'll be the be the face of it, be the face of the label. No, I think I'll see you. You are. <laughs> you actually are. It's gone. Yeah. But man, we had a wonderful time. I feel like I had a great time. If I'm being honest, though, I feel like y'all ain't joking. I think I, I feel like I'm. This in particular is gonna be my last episode with Undefined. Such a bitch ass sir. Thank you for coming. Join us. Absolutely. It was a pleasure. I hope to see you in 2023. I hope y'all have me back because it was it was a lot of fun being here. You feel me? Appreciate it. So, 
So make sure y'all subscribe, comment down below, tell us, you know, everything. And hope to see y'all in the next one. I'm crazy. Peace. Doing it for me, I can't cut you off a piece. Nose on the keys, silk on the sheets. I forget you're just a tease. If you let up, want a chance for two.